here's a quick guide to the pen tool on Affinity Designer for the iPad. Let's start by selecting the pen tool and picking a point on the screen. We can pick another point and you'll see a line is drawn between the two points and keeping the pencil on the screen if I drag out you can see a curve is created. Now this is really useful for creating nice precise curves over illustrations. So let's just pick another point. Let's go back to the start point and you'll see another line is drawn to complete that shape. I can pick up the node tool and all these lines and points I can manipulate with the node tool and it's all non-destructive so you can go back in and make changes as and when you need uh, and to add another node I can just tap with the node tool anywhere on the line and create another one with all the same functions as the original. Where the pen tool really shines though is where you're trying to trace over your line art or like this, a photograph. So I'm just going to use the pen tool to trace around this headlight. Now the most intuitive way of doing this you might think is to make your selections and edit them on the fly and trying to follow those curves. But what you'll find is that Affinity is trying to guess where you're going to go and the curves don't always add up to where you want to be and then the next selection you make is a bit too far out and you're going to struggle to bend bend that to shape and then you're probably going to find you're going to have to go back in at the end and edit all these individually. So let me show you a better way. So the way I approach this is to do it more like a production line, pick up the pen tool, don't worry about the curves at all, just look at where the curve ends and the straight bits start and then jump across and make a box and then grab the node tool and you can edit these individual segments without affecting the other bits of the drawing and on really complicated bits of work this is a massive time saver and it makes the whole process a lot easier I think.